Hi there. Welcome to Ten Commandments. Hi. This is Heather. You can call me Queen. Well, I just had an interesting conversation with this lady I just met at the grocery store. Hmm. I'm wondering. She's like calling me. Before. She's calling my number, you guys. And I don't know who she is. I had her number blocked. I don't know what's going on, you guys. I'm telling you. I've been having some weird shit going on. In my life. Hmm. I didn't even know this lady's name. She told me and I forgot. She said somebody's at her door. She had to go. I don't believe her. I think I was touching. I was touching something. A nerve. Something was going on with her and her adult children. Folks, let me give you guys one advice. Number one. Life is too short. Number two, life is too short. Number three, guess what I'm going to say again. She's telling me that her son, one of her sons has, I get it. He does not have a Monday through Friday. I'm a very vigilant person. So if you see me looking around, because I have to for my own safety, but, um, she said that her son does not have a Monday through Friday shift. I get it. I don't eat her sometimes. I work a lot of weekends. But that time I know I'm going to be free. When you know you're going to be free, you pick up that phone. And you see, and the money looks okay that week. You call up a family member. This is your guy's homework. And say, hey mom, hey dad, or hey sister, hey brother. Would you like to hang out? Check your schedule out. See if it meets up with mine. I'm available this time. It doesn't have to be a full whole day, guys. You don't want to wear each other out anyway. One, two hours to spend together is better than weeks, months, years going by. I mean, it's literally doing that, you guys. We are already in June. It's Father's Day coming up. I know some of us, our fathers are deceased. Mine is. So what are you going to do? Wait until you get that bad news phone call? No, you're not. So that's your homework this week. I want you guys to figure out when you can spend time. Or someone you like. Even if it's not like your best, best relative or your best, best friend or whoever you haven't seen in a while. You know, but it's still kind of hanging on a thread. You're going to go in your best behavior. You're going to pray over it, of course. Prior to when you see him, you're going to dress at your best. You're going to be at your best. You're going to treat this visit with whoever you haven't seen in a long time. Like as if it's a job interview. Okay? That's how you're going to do. Now, I want to bring this topic up. We're four minutes since so we still have a little time. We don't go over ten minutes. By the way, if you're new on this channel, subscribe, put a thumbs up. This is called Ten Commands. We talk about the Bible. We talk about social life. We talk about whatever we want. Ten Commandments. Remember that. Push the thumbs up, share, and like. You can even leave a comment if it'll allow you to. A positive comment, please. We're straight up on here. A lot of people don't like me. They don't like what I say because I speak from the heart. I have a pure heart, a pure soul, and I speak, okay? If you can't handle it, you should not have to be watching this. Okay, I'm going to remind you guys again, when you get on the Bible, when you use your Bible, you need 
to go and say, Father God, write this down in the name of Jesus, it is written. Then you read the scripture, then at the end of the scripture, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. Always say that because you're not reading to the devils, you guys. So you must say that. Okay, getting back to our social talk. You guys really need to pray over the enemy. He's very busy right now. You need to use the word rebuke. Write that down. R-E-B-U-K-E. -E. Okay, and you can Google it what it means. It's in the Bible all over. If you have issues with people, you rebuke them. Okay, do not act toxic. Do not act with your emotions or your flesh. This is your flesh. People out there, stop acting raggedy with people. Come to people with maturity. Come to people with respect, with courtesy. And I want to see more men out there opening the door. You guys have lost all that. You lost your value, your manners, your respect. Okay? You lost all of that. That needs to stop. And the reason I'm saying that because I'm trying to make the world a better place to live. All we need to do is get on our phones. If we cannot afford education, I know it's unfair that this country is, is making us pay for our education. To me, I think our education should be free right across the board. Free education and free rent. But that's a whole new topic and a whole new day and a whole new Ten Commandments. Now, let's go back to this. life is too short work on your character i want you guys to really pay attention treat others like you want to be treated for one week two weeks or get a little journal get a piece of paper and say okay how did i how did i get along with abc this week at work how did I get along with this person or that person in my relative's life how did i get along with my boyfriend or girlfriend or my wife or husband Okay, let's say if you're in a marriage, okay, you guys are having trouble compromising. This is what you're going to do. I figured this out today. I think, I think the Holy Spirit downloaded this to my system. Let's say there's two things that both of you disagree on. This one doesn't want to clean the house. It's just an example. This one loves cleaning the house, okay? This one doesn't want to eat out at all. This one loves to cook. Okay, now, this one needs to drop something he doesn't like to do, but want to do it for the other person to make them happy, and vice versa. I hope, Lord, give them wisdom. You guys understand what I'm saying, okay? Or eight minutes in this video. So, both of you have to do something for the other one to be happy. So, this one has to make this one happy, and this one has to make this one happy. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's say I say, I don't like to cook. But the other one likes to cook. So, okay, so, I'm going to have to like how to cook to make this person happy. He wants me to cook for him. So I'm going to start going on YouTube and watching uh, how to cook recipes. I really do know how to cook, you guys. But I'm just saying, I'm giving that as an example. Now, the other one is, um, I love to clean. There's a person uh does not want to clean. Okay. Oh, no. Let me, let me vice versa. That one, the other person doesn't want to clean okay so i'm gonna do the cleaning for them i don't like to cook but they're gonna do the cleaning the cooking for me that's this is what you call compromise okay i hope i explained that better okay so y'all we're nine minutes this video it's almost 10 minutes we don't go over 10 so we're gonna do our countdown and i'll see you on the next video you have a peaceful and a good bible studying day we all need to make our 10 minute effort each day to read our favorite scripture in the Bible. I would suggest um, Psalms 91. 
I would suggest anything you want to read first thing in the morning. Jesus, oh, others, dude, and yeah, yourself absolutely. laugh, which is joy. Sorry for the distraction in the background. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We like you, but Jesus like you better. Peace and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.